All right, so question seven. Jill gave money to charity over a 20-year period, from year one to year 20 inclusive. She gave £150 in year one, £160 in year two, £170 in year three, and so on, so that the amounts of money she gave each year formed an arithmetic sequence. Find the amount of money she gave in year 10. Right, so a nice one to start us off here with the arithmetic sequences. So essentially, we want S of 10. Not S of 10, what am I saying? Silly me. I want to know what U of 10 is. And U of N equals A plus N minus 1 times D, where A is the first term and D is the common difference. Well, the first term that she gives is 150. N minus 1 is going to be 10 minus 1, which is 9 times by D, um, which is the common difference. And the common difference from year to year is 10. So 150 plus 90 is going to be 240. And let's remember to put in the pound sign. I'm going to just do a slight little change here. Not write it as u of 10, I'm going to write it as u of n. So just showing you that the formula for the nth term of a sequence is there. And that allowed us to work out the 10th term. u of 10. Okay. Uh, part B. Calculate the total amount of money she gave over the 20-year period. So basically, we want to know after 20 years. That was part A. And this is... Part B. Right, so over 20 years, how much money did she give? Well, I'm going to use this formula, the sum of the series. So if I add them all up, how much money would she have given in total? Now, there's two formula you can use here. S of N um, is equal to, and this is given in the formula book, a half N times 2A plus N minus 1 times d and that's also equal to a half n times a plus l where a is the first term and l is the last term now just looking at what the information that i've got i'm going to opt for the first formula so s of 20 is going to give me a half times 20 times 2 and a we worked out is 150 the first term is 150 plus n minus 1 so which is going to be 19 lots of the common difference which is 10 so 19 times 10 close that bracket and close off the overall bracket i chose not to use the second formula because i don't know the uh, the last term i could have worked it out but i'm going to use the information i had um, now let's just see if we can tidy this up. A half times twenty is going to be ten. Two times one fifty is three hundred. Um, that's going to be one hundred and ninety. And adding them together, three hundred and one ninety going to give us four hundred and ninety. And when we times that by ten, that tells us that over twenty years she's given a total of four thousand nine hundred pounds. Okay, next part, Kevin also gave money to the charity. What a lucky charity. He gave £80 in year one, and the amount of money he gave each year increased, forming an arithmetic sequence as well, with a common difference of 30. The total amount of money that Kevin gave over the 20-year period was twice the total amount that Jill gave. Calculate the value of A. Right, so we know that the amount that he gave was double the amount that Jill gave. Let's write down, uh, what's his name? Kevin. So Kevin, Kevin gave some amount Kevin gave double. He gave double. Which is going to equal well what's double 4,900? Got to be 9,800 so Kevin gives that much over a 20 year period so 
so over 20 years. We want to find out what his original amount was. So we're going to use the same formula again. We're going to use the fact that a half, let me just switch colors actually to black here. So when Kevin added up all his money for 20 years, the sum of the 20 years is going to be equal to a half times n, which is 20, times 2a. a in this case, the first amount, well, it tells us he gives a pounds, capital A. So I'm going to write that as 2a with a capital A, like this. So he gives this much in the first year, plus n minus 1, which is going to be 19 when we worked it out, times D, the common difference. Now, does it tell us the common difference? Oh, it does. 30. The common difference is 30. So 19 times 30. And that, ladies and gents, we know is equal to 9,800. Okay. Right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make life a little bit easier for myself. Um, I know a half times 20 is going to be 10. So I'm actually going to divide both sides by 10 straight away. Make life a little bit easier. So we get 2a plus, and then 19 times 30. I'll deal with that in a moment. That's going to equal, dividing both sides by 10, 980. Okay. So, uh, 19 times 30, well, what's 19 times 3? 19 times 3, 38, uh, 57, I think. 9, 18, 27. Yeah, 57. Um, so 570, so 2a plus 570 going to equal 980, which means that 2a, taking 570 away from both sides, is going to be 410, which means that a, the value we gave at first, must be equal to 200 and five pounds right let's have a look and see how we did with regards to the marks game 240 we had that 4900 beautiful and we can see here a equals 205 now you can have a look at the marks game in full there if you wish and and down below here we have just some of the um other methods that have been used so if you want to have a read of any of that do pause the video now but let's go on and have a look at what the examiner had to say most candidates interpret it correctly. Full marks were scored by lots of students. But look, full marks were scored by those who are sufficiently competent in arithmetic series. And uh, you'll find that some people are actually common arithmetical mistakes, such as this. So we've got to be really, really careful. It's a non-calculator paper. Don't be making those um, silly mistakes.